Hi guys, it's Jeffrey and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the DJI Microphone 2 set. I'm very excited about this unboxing because I've been looking at these microphones for a really long time and wanting to purchase them. I really want to upgrade the sound quality in my videos because I do a lot of on-the-go vlog type videos and it's kind of painful sometimes when I'm sitting and editing and watching and listening to the videos because if I'm in the car or like on a busy road or something. really hard to hear and like the noise cancellation can only go so far so I figured I need to purchase some microphones to help upgrade that sound quality. For today's video I will be unboxing this microphone set. It comes with two microphones and a transmitter and this lovely carrying case. Some of the features about this are it's all in one ready to use together. It's got high quality audio recording, an 18 hour battery life, intelligent noise cancellation, crystal clear vocals it says, so you can be the judge of that when we put this to the test. It has 14 hour internal recording and 32 bit float internal recording. It's high quality is what I'm hearing. It has 250 meters of range, so you can be 820 feet away from these microphones and they should still hook up to your transmitter, so that's pretty cool. I have some scissors here. Let's get this thing open and start the unboxing. It comes put in this super handy carrying case, which I love. It's gonna be super nice to keep these microphones in this case protected. It comes with a tag on it. Let's read what it says. It's just telling us the materials in every possible language. So I'm gonna take that tag off. And in here we also have some instructions in this sleeve. Let's see what it says. Ooh, I think it has some stickers. Some drone stickers, some DJI stickers, more DJI. This one looks like an SD card, which is really cool. That's super fun. I did not know that this was gonna come with stickers, so I feel like that's an added bonus. Here's the quick start guide, which tells you about the DJI app, which I already have. It shows you where all the things go, it looks like. There are some magnetic clips inside here, which will be used to hold and secure the microphones. It shows you how to connect it to a smartphone and a camera. It tells you about the transmitter, how to make adjustments. It tells you about the warranty, which it looks like they provide a warranty for up to 12 months for different components of this. So I will definitely be saving this information. This is some safety information, which tells you not to let these get liquid damage. Try to keep it away from sand and dust. It also tells you that there's some magnets in here. Keep the magnets away from hard drives and things that magnets could damage. All right, let's get into this here. So it just unzips. I love how everything's already in here. This is, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm obsessed already. Okay, let's take these out and let's see them. Press to unlock. They're blinking. Oh my gosh, they're charged. Okay, here is the transmitter and it already shows like a battery indicator. I don't know if you can see that. So everything's about 50% charged right now. I'm gonna take this sticker off. There's a little light indicator right here, which two out of four of them are lit up. So I would say it's about halfway charged. This feels really good quality, feels very like premium. Here on the back is a USB-C port. So that is how these are gonna get charged, which it's super nice because now my iPhone's USB-C, my laptop's USB-C, the future is USB-C. So I'm glad to see everything is compatible with that. Let's look at the other things in here that it comes with. Here's the USB to USB-C charging cable, which I might just use my iPhone charger to charge this because rather than bringing a separate cord, I think I might just keep my iPhone charger handy. I love how it has little pockets and everything stays inside of there. Here's just the little silica gel we can discard. It looks like a windscreen. This attaches onto the microphone, and then if it's windy, this is supposed to help block the wind. The one on the other side is also a windscreen, so they just come in these little bags to protect them. 
but they look really good. Oh, it looks like there's one more cord in here, which I think this is to plug directly into a camera if you want to use the transmitter with a camera. All right, let's take these things out and put them to the test. It kind of feels like an AirPods case, like when you lift them out, because they're magnetic in here, which is really cool. I love that you can like see inside of them. It's like clear right here, so you can see the internal compartments. On the back here is a magnet that's really strong, so you have to pull it off. And then if you want to clip it on your shirt, you can just clip it underneath and then look. The microphone's right here. Super easy, I don't have to touch it, it's wireless. And it's perfect, I can't wait to put it to the test. It also has this clip, so you could just clip it on right here, which this is kind of pulling my shirt down, but maybe if I had like a jacket or something I wanted to clip it to. These also have, it looks like a USB-C right here. On the top, it has a port for you to put the windscreen in directly. I think it just snaps in. I'm not sure how to take it out. Looks like you just pull to take it back out. Let's look at the transmitter. Oh my goodness, okay. So it's asking me to select a language. So it's already set on English, so I'm just gonna hit this arrow. Oh, now it's asking me to put in the date, November. It thinks it's November 12th, but it's actually November 11th, but it was really close, so that's kind of fun. It's asking me to put the time, 1050, DJI, it's starting up. Now in order to hook this up to your phone, there's a little port back here that you just pull off. You just slide the correct port up. Here's USB-C, this is gonna plug directly into my phone. If you did have a camera, it has this, which can fit like on top of some camera. It comes with a USB-C and it comes with a lightning. So depending on which iPhone you have, it will be compatible with your iPhone. I'm going to plug this into my phone now so that we can test the audio quality of this. All right guys, moment of truth. Do we like what we're hearing? I am super excited to hear this audio quality and I'm excited to see what it makes editing feel like. I think with the transmitter plugged directly into my iPhone, it's going to be nice not to have to take audio files like off of the microphone and upload them and match them and sync them up. I think it's going to be nice to have the audio already directly with the video. If you do have doubts about like your transmitter getting the audio, you can hit a button and start recording here on the microphone and then it will record directly on the microphone and then you can upload the footage to your computer and use it. I think that's what these po extra ports on the microphones are for. I should take this outside. It's a windy day today so I could test the windscreens outside and hear the audio quality. I also want to try just like pinning, clipping this onto me. The magnet is hard to pull off. Okay, here's the microphone just clipped onto me. I've seen videos where people messed with the sound and they bumped it up so that whatever sound you're recording from these microphones makes it louder on your videos because whenever I upload my videos and put them into Final Cut, I always have to bump up the sound from what it was. Maybe if I bump the sound up before recording with this microphone, then I won't have to bump it up when I'm doing my editing step. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited because I'm already noticing a huge difference in audio quality just as I play back the video, which makes me so excited to try these with my vlogs and try them outside. So come on, let's go. I came outside and it's a little bit windy. I don't know if you can see on the trees. Oh yeah, look up there. It is windy. So it's the perfect time to test the audio quality. And now I'm going to put the windscreen on and see if that improves anything. Here is my microphone with the windscreen on and I'm gonna try clipping it to my jacket. Here's the microphone clipped to my jacket. I'm just walking around with it. It's windy, it's cold, it's a brisk fall day. My chickens are making noise. I wanna hear if you can hear them, I'm really curious. But it's windy out here and I think that the audio still sounds really nice. I was just playing back a clip. So I'm so excited to have these microphones now and be able to use them like in the car and just when I'm out and about doing things and doing vlogs. I think I figured out how to press and I think this is now noise canceling mode. We can hear if there's any difference between this noise canceling mode and this without noise canceling mode. I just got my Starbucks drink, the Cranberry Lemonade with cranberries inside, which is really cool. I got this cute, absolutely adorable snowman cake pop. So I'm gonna take the 
freeway. I'm just gonna drive north one exit so that we can get this car up to speed and listen to the audio quality and see if it's better. Okay, I'm really curious what it sounds like now. I'm gonna turn the noise canceling mode on and I wonder if that makes an improvement or if it makes it worse. As I'm playing back this video and watching it, I will say that if I were ever to film in the car again, I think that I would make sure that my microphone was closer to my mouth because I don't think that it picked up the audio as good as it could have but i did notice a big quality difference in the clips that i did when i took my microphones out in the backyard and that's what i'm about to talk about here i want to say that i noticed a huge audio quality difference before i'm even editing the videos i was just playing them back on my iphone and there's a huge difference between these microphones and just the iphone microphone like it wasn't really canceling out noise but with these microphones from dji the transmitter has settings and so i think it's extremely worth it i'm really excited about them i'm really excited about the future videos that i will make with them right now they're charging right here i'm just using my iphone charger to charge them since it was right there and super convenient once again i love this carrying case i think it's going to be super easy to take it with me i did want to show you some of the specific settings that i put on my transmitter so you just scroll down to get to the receiver settings i scrolled over until I got to receiver gain and pressed it and then I bumped it up to six just so that whatever audio that I'm getting through my microphones is bumped up. Then I also went over to transmitter settings. I turned low cut off but apparently if you're in the car or something you should turn it on because it's gonna cut out that humming noise. I'm just gonna swipe up to get back out of this setting and scroll over to transmitter gain. I bumped my transmitter one and two both up to six and so then you can just swipe up once again to get out of that. You can scroll over to 32-bit float recording and turn that on. going to increase the quality of your sound, especially if you are recording on the microphone. There's also a noise reduction mode that you can turn on and off via the button on the microphone. So I'm just gonna go back out of those settings. Those are the settings I changed. So now my top screen, you can see it says M plus six and then it says 32 bit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had so much fun unboxing the DJI Microphone 2 set. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Leave a comment down below if there's anything that you want to see me unbox next. Subscribe so that you don't miss any of my other videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.